Hello, my name is Mark Janelle Jr. and I'm going to cover two stories today. The first story is a LinkedIn phishing email campaign was able to bypass Google's strong uh, security posture. That's a biggie. So in that story, I'm going to cover what a phishing email campaign is and how they were able to bypass Google's protection. In the second story, I'm going to go over the reasons why uh, retail stores are more susceptible more than ever before to cyber attack. So without further ado, we're going through it. Let's we're going dark. Let's talk about what phishing is. So many reports accuse a man by the name of Con C. Smith of making the term phishing a recognizable name in the early 1990s. At that time, hackers would pretend to be an AOL administrator and fish for login credentials so they can access the internet for free. Phishing is the practice of tricking internet users into revealing personal or confidential information which can then be used illicitly. So now let's quickly go over this LinkedIn phishing email campaign courtesy of The Hacker News. Let's dive into the details. Here are the main points. The phishing campaign targeted 500 mailboxes of employees from a national travel organization. The email came with the subject line, we noticed some unusual activity, pretending to be from LinkedIn. Here are the two points that interest me the most, however. However, the attackers misspelled LinkedIn and the domain was created months ago in March 6, so it was sitting for a while, undetected. Now here's the next point that interests me as well. The phishing campaign bypassed detection by Google's email security controls after passing authentication checks via DMARC and SFP. Then the campaign leveraged brand impersonation, social engineering, and malicious URLs and existing business workflow replication. Here are some of the latest LinkedIn threats. LinkedIn emerged as the third most impersonated brand in quarter three of this year, preceded by DHL and Microsoft. However, it was at the top of the list in the previous two quarters of the year. Threat actors have been creating fake employee accounts on LinkedIn, which couple AI generated profile photos with text copied from legitimate users. So that is very interesting. So here's how LinkedIn is fighting back. The platform introduced three new features to defend against fake profiles and malicious activities on the platform. LinkedIn has started showing more information about accounts to verify them, actively hunting for fake AIs and warning users against suspicious messages. The bottom line, over the past few years, LinkedIn has been heavily exploited by bad actors to steal credentials from its users and attack corporate networks. Armor Blocks recommends implementing an email security layer instead of just having native email security. Furthermore, pay attention to social engineering cues and implement MFA. So here's the next story. Retail stores are more vulnerable because their security posture is weaker. Stores and websites are linked. The rise of internet things. Internet of Things and number four, and lastly, the invasion of shadow IT and prioritizing speed of service over security. So those are the reasons. Now I'm going to expound on those reasons. This story is courtesy of Dark Reading and it is by Dakota Murphy. Number one, security is weaker. Let's, let's expound on that. There can be no doubt that one of the major issues around security in store is the issue of complacency. It is assumed that physical stores themselves are unlikely to be targeted by cyber criminals. Surely it is more likely that they will put their resources into using hacking or phishing. In reality, cyber criminals are always looking for ways to maximize their time. They want quick wins. Increasingly, as retail stores are less well protected, they are being seen as an easy way into the computer system of a company. Perhaps the lesson that needs to be learned here is that you should never assume that you won't or can't be attacked. Cyber criminals are far more sophisticated than they have ever been. If there are gaps in security, they can identify and tap into them. Retailers, for instance, need to balance consumers' privacy and data protection with their own tight security measures that protect their internal IT systems and physical stores. Failure to install security effectively and comply can result in firms facing fines or breaches in privacy laws under stringent CCTV regulations and GDPR guidelines. Number two, stores and websites are intrinsically linked. You might think that there is a divide inside your business. Your physical store 
and your online store. However, it is generally the case that your physical premises are linked to your digital system just as much as an office might be. Do you log into your system at work? Do you track customer details using an IT system? For the majority of businesses, the physical store is actually just as dependent on your IT system as the site online. This presents a potential problem. If your physical retail store can potentially allow access to your whole IT system, cyber criminals can use nefarious methods in your physical premises. Number three, the rise of Internet of Things. Physical stores are increasingly reliant on Internet of Things devices. That being any device that is connected to the Internet, this might include stock checkers, smart shelves, predictive maintenance equipment, and much more. Physical security devices such as CCTV, video surveillance, and alarm systems are often connected to the internet and can also be a vulnerability for targeted cyber attacks. The wider use of video surveillance technology and other types of physical devices extends to more than pure crime detection. They have intel intelligent capabilities that can be applied to monitor crowds, secure physical sites, and um, support building management platforms. Although such integrated systems do a good job in providing smart data to, uh, to support security firms and facility uh, managers managing retail sites, any data, files, and surveillance videos can be vulnerable to cyber attacks. Whether stored or managed on cloud-based applications or as an on-premise solution, such as physical security devices that protect retail stores, also open up another potential entry point to your IT system that criminals can exploit. And if CCTV video surveillance and alarm systems are not managed properly, they can be a major problem. Number four, here's the last reason, the invasion of shadow IT. Shadow IT is the use of any kind of software or applications that aren't approved by the IT team. This is becoming a big problem, especially in stores where staff make use of personal uh, devices as a part of their role. The popularity of shadow IT is partly due to its perceived benefits, says George Class, head of threat intelligence at cybersecurity specialist Red Scan. These include the ability to take initiative in setting up and using technology and the freedom to adopt systems and software more quickly in order to reduce workload. However, these apparent benefits come to come at a significant cost, he said. The issues arise when the shadow IT is not checked for vulnerabilities or it is not kept to date because it is known by the IT team. These vulnerabilities and flaws can present a potential opening for cyber criminals. It is naturally the case that many businesses in retail want to prioritize fast and effective customer service. Unfortunately, uh, this can ultimately result in good security practices being overlooked in favor of getting on with tasks. For example, if a customer comes in requesting a password reset on their account, there may be some pressure to simply go ahead with this rather than follow the correct procedures. Retail stores need to understand the interconnected nature of cyber criminals and in-person crime. With the rise in cashless retail and a surge in online sales, uh, retailers IT security has to keep in step and uh, reposition itself with the evolution of consumer buying habits. This increased awareness, however, has been reinforced by the UK government's measures to support security technology within the retail industry. While retail stores are more vulnerable than ever to cybercrime, there is much that business, businesses can do to mitigate risks. Perhaps the most important factor is providing staff training to ensure that everyone understands their role in preventing cybercrime. Thank you for your viewership. That was the two news. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, Hack Pack. Hit the notification bell. Hit the uh, subscribe button. I love you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.